Comedy Playhouse. There are currently four of the three Stooges shorts in public domain. 1936 is called Order in Court, not to be confused with the TV show of the same name. 1947, wonderfully titled Sing and the Song of Sixpence. 1949's Malice in a Palace, uh, which has nothing to do with Ron Alice. And 1947, Primus. Brightest Gloom, the most famous of the four. You've even seen half a dozen TV films. Brightest about Stemp getting married and a singing instructor before 6 a.m. to inherit her deceased uncle's fortune. Not only time in the film, their philology, but they race against the clock to receive a large sum of money. It's like in it lately of them contains the first line hold hands you love birds it said by actor Emil Senkin the only man will work all six duties including the other forgettable Curly Joe Sintka also had a birdcage smashed over his head in, in the movie a scene at Quentin Tornado a pay homage to in the Pumult Fortune he remembered it for the brightest being on TV so often Check and double check. 1930. Lucy's Call of Duty Spectre, a Perry House companion. The radio to her movie production never should have happened. Click and double check is the first and only film to star Freeman F. Cosman and Charles J. Charles J. Colin. And oh, so sexist, ca- racist characters. Amos and Paddy bring Athens. Georgia Pajero to big screen with not only proven troublesome because of check that it stretched a 15 minute radio show with a full length film. It's also for so much responsibility of putting two white boys in blackface. A problem didn't exist when the audience could only hear you but not see you. It made a ton of money. It was the Valkyrie's biggest hit till King Kong, but the critics hated the film as it in creators. The only thing about it, actually, was they introduced Duke Ellington, who appeared in the movie, to a national white audience. Father's Little Divine. You might may, may know the remake of The Father of the Bride, sequel under a different name, Father of the Bride Part 2. You know the one with Martin Short, it's not the cleverest of titles, but it's certainly a little better than The Father's Little Divide, which sounds like a movie by the name of Creepy Businessman. Given Instead, it can given to his penis. Instead of it concerns for Spencer Tracy and Joan Burnett who's returned to Stanley Hill, Ellie Blank, Steve Martin, Dane Clayton, who played the same characters 40 years later, dealing with characters, the first child, played by Elizabeth, the bride tailor in one of the f- uh, earliest well-known films. It's cute and a little bit lightweight. No. His Girl Friday, 1940. It's a perfect screwball comedy with rapid dialogue. If you've ever seen the first film, ever the characters talk over each other. And it's a gauging love story between Clara Grant and Rosalind Russell, who give magnificent performances. It always never takes itself too seriously. Curious phrases of funny faces. Changed by the same entire story, J. Stuart Rickerton's humorous phases, funny faces, were released 106 years ago, considered one of the most amity, first amity films ever made, and would be the worst indie rock band name ever. Is a man who draws funny faces on a chalkboard. They come to life. It's clear that it's constant any to elicit laughs, heck. DreamWorks use it for of their film movies with infamous face. But it's a three minute time run time. It's certainly more tolerable. McClintock. Don't know why this is on here. It's not a funny film. But hey, I'll take that off. We're not talking about that. It's John Wayne. I like John Wayne. So, take it off. Bye. Sin of Harold and Dimmer Lot- Lotbrock. Harold Lloyd was the most famous crazy stars of Sun film era. Great there and Chaplin Kilton. To quote Harold Roach, Harold Lloyd was not a comedian, but he was the best actor to act like a 
public reading but any person I ever saw. He sailed a pretty, pretty happy go lucky, chirpy catch. It's perfect for late nineteen tens and early twenties. But over the thirties and forties, when the country's going through the Great Depression, the talkies were destroying the popularity, so in movies. The world didn't care for Lloyd's enthusiasm as much as his previous fame had eluded him. Playing a good tubular characters as Sinner's Harold Dumbelock, they don't name Wild Wednesday. His final stunning role, Preston Sturges, convinced him to come out of retirement for it. It was a commercial critical dud, undeserving a film safety safety first. A grandmother's boy, except for this pressure, well down my well drown my kittens. Steamboat Bill Steamboat Bill Junior, the last film of Great Stone Bill Buster Keaton made before jumping ship from United to, from United States to MGM, a movie he did would later regret. Possibly the last great film in general contains one of the most famous scenes in comical history. Cyclone hits a port town Keaton's in and he's walking around a building begins to collapse right between Kilton. Luckily he's standing in a exact spot with open window lands. Kilton did the stunt himself. Didn't blink an eye. A risky move considering he just moved been two inches to either side, been squashed by two tons of structure. Bag had been pro- pro- parodied in everything from Weird Al music videos to Twister. Terror of Twin ta- Tiny Town, 1938. We're, we're Western musical comedy musical, all magic characters. It's a gimmick film. Obviously, the midgets riding straight limp ponies and walking underneath saloon doors. But beyond the obvious side gags, short where we're supposed to be laughing of the with or laughing at the cast. The incision made it as campy as it could be. Before less enjoyable. And that is the end of that.